Someday, historians will untangle one of the biggest mysteries of the moment we're living through, which is why would our leaders want to make our society more dangerous? Why would they want more rape and armed robbery and murder? They clearly do want that. Why? We don't know. We can only chronicle the effects. Lori Lightfoot has made Chicago intolerable for people. It's so dangerous. That's intentional. She banned police from chasing criminals on foot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And as a result, of course, the poorest people are suffering the most. Street vendors robbed all the time. So Lori Lightfoot is trying to get reelected mayor of Chicago. Unbelievable that that could happen, but she might be reelected. And during a debate, the other day, she was asked, well, how are you going to stop crime? And she had no answer at all. Instead, she told street vendors to carry as little cash as possible. We have been in Little Village working with those street vendors, understanding what the nature of the crime is, <clears throat> making sure that we're doing things in concert with them okay. to help them uh, uh, make sure that their money is secure, not use money, if at all possible, using uh, okay. other forms of transactions to take care of themselves. <laughs> So what you need, street vendors, dirty water dog guy, is some central bank digital currency. <laughs> so Evita Duffy is a reporter with The Federalist. She's actually gone to Chicago to cover this story. She's spoken to several tamale vendors in the city about Lori Lightfoot's plan, and she joins us. And Evita, thank you so much for coming on tonight. So how do the tamale vendors in Chicago feel about using central bank digital currency for their tamales? <laughs> Not... They, did, they didn't like it very much. And Tucker, I spoke to a lot of tamales vendors. This is what one of them had to say. So it was four guys. They came from the truck, a uh, white truck, a little white truck. And so they came and they just came with the guns pointing at me. So I got scared. So they come and they go like this. So they took my little change that I had and hit me. Yeah. So he doesn't seem to think, or he didn't say in that interview with you, a very sad story, that getting rid of cash would solve his problems. I mean, they punched him in the face anyway. Yeah, Tucker, just for a little, a little bit of context about this community, it's a majority Hispanic. These people work very hard. They're all evening making tamales, and they're up early in the morning at 3 a.m. in the frigid cold, um, selling to blue-collar workers. And, and they're, they're very vulnerable. A lot of them, they're out on the street. They, they're working on a cash-only basis. It's very dark in the early hours of the morning. Um, and, and so many of them have been beat up, like the man in the video. Some have had guns pointed at them and, and robbed. All of the vendors that I talked to were absolutely traumatized. And Lori Lightfoot's solution is to say go cashless. But all of the vendors that I talked to said that is just not a possibility. We work on a cash-only basis. Our customers are on a cash-only basis. This is very normal for impoverished communities, especially ones that uh, are a major have a lot of uh, illegal migrants in it. And Lori Lightfoot would know this if she cared about them remotely, but the vendors that I talked to said she doesn't care. Uh, and, and of course, it's all very ironic as well because Lori Lightfoot and Kim Fox are all day preaching to us about uh, equity and making policies around equity. And yet the people that are being hurt the most by the way that this city is run are poor minorities. And if I could add one more thing, they, they also told me that uh, it's gotten so bad that they've had to rely on local community organizations, but also local gangs for protection, which is the kind of thing that you see in third world countries, the kind of countries that these people fled from. They came for the American yeah. dream. And what they found is a Lori Lightfoot Chicago nightmare. Yeah. Well, if you cared about them, you let them carry firearms and that would solve the problem immediately. But instead, all their solutions empower them. Get rid of cash so we can track you. Yeah, no thanks. Avita Duffy, great to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, of course, the war in Ukraine has totally destroyed Ukraine, killed over 100,000 